by several sovereign tribal nations within the state of Nevada, including the Las Vegas Band of Paiute and the Moab Band of Paiute. As an SEIU member, you are in our community every day, healing and caring for your fellow Nevadans in our hospitals, legal systems, airports, and other spaces, making our county better. While you are out there, I encourage you to continue to recognize your indigenous neighbors. You may or may not be aware that Native people disproportionately suffer from lack of access to health care and on average live 5.5 years lower below the life expectancy of the rest of our nation's citizens due to environmental issues, inadequate education, disproportionate poverty, and discrimination. I urge you, please remember this when you are working and when you are voting this year. I pray that this day brings you strength, encouragement, and solidarity. Today, we remember where we come from and focus on where we want to go together. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mercedes. Can we hear it one more time for Mercedes? All right, I hope everyone had a chance to get a good night's sleep after a very full day yesterday. It's a long day, right guys? I'm very full. All right, uh, let's see. We heard from some of our members about some of the great work we've been doing as a local, and what else? We played some shoots and ladders and got a history lesson while we were at it. Who learned something? Yeah. And shoots and ladders, right? Everyone learned. A lot of history there. Um, you guys played some bingo. Uh, who won? Anybody win bingo? You won? Woo! Bingo. Yeah. Woo! Move out to the top, shoots and ladders. I know we had a couple, right? Halfway? Halfway? Couple Very educational. Right. We heard from some presidential candidates and their surrogates, and we gave our opinions on whether or not they spoke to us. Did they answer our questions? Uh, we also heard from our international president, Mary Kay Henry, and our EVP, Louisa Blue. Yeah, let's make time for them. Let's give it up for them. We thank them. They explained um, the four pillars to our unions for all demand. Okay? Right? Then uh, we wrapped up the day with all things caucusing and had a great dinner. Now, with that being said, are you guys ready for the day? Yeah. This is another day. One of our congressmen and our commissioner. And then we're going to put some puzzles together and then talk about that and how we're going to take that home. All right, so let's get started. All right, we're down to work, we're getting pumped, we're getting psyched. I want to introduce our first speaker this morning. Um, he was unfortunately unable to be with us here in person, but he recorded a video and a message for us all. Congressman Stephen Horsford is our congressman from Congressional District 4, which covers northern Las Vegas and parts of central Nevada. All right. He's really nervous, so let's get him pumped. <laughs> Shut up. Able to do that. Hello, I'm Congressman Stephen Horsford with Nevada's 4th Congressional District. I'm sorry I'm not able to be there in person, but I want you to know how much I support you and all the work that you are doing on behalf of workers throughout Nevada. In ensuring that every worker has the right to join a union, SEIU helps all of Nevada's workers feel respected and protected in the workplace. Strong unions are instrumental in improving job and quality care standards, raising wages and expanding benefits, all necessary in addressing the economic inequality in this nation. And your chapter, Local 1107, is a champion for organizing in-home caregivers, those who provide essential care for our parents, grandparents, and loved ones with disabilities. By joining together with 1107, home care workers are fighting for a fair shot 
at building a better life by winning higher wages, basic benefits like paid sick leave, and more training opportunities. As more home care jobs are created in Nevada, we must ensure they are good union jobs with family sustaining wages and benefits. I see your hard work and all that you are doing, and I am behind you 100%. Thank you for all that you do in our community. nice of our congressmen. That's right. We're here for our families. We're here for our community. You guys all did an amazing job yesterday in the workshops. All the discussions you guys had, we were hearing about how motivated you were, inspired, educated, and we got to keep that rolling for today. Definitely. So we uh, received a wonderful letter from the senior senator of our great state, Catherine Cortez Masto. And with that being said, I'd like to call Danita Johnson, not yet union workers from Las Vegas, to the stage.
we're going to ask everyone to silence their phones, please. Just so you know, we don't have any more interruptions while people are speaking or whatever the case may be. All right. So I want us to take a few minutes and discuss what we just heard from our congressman and our senator.